It's me, Courtney Lee, and welcome to my music room. I'm so excited that you joined me today, and I can't wait to show you a new instrument. Let's do it. Courtney Lee's Music Room. Today's instrument is the glockenspiel. Okay, this instrument is pretty big, so I have to hold it with two hands. This is a glockenspiel. It's very similar to a xylophone, if you have a xylophone at home or if you know what a xylophone is. It's almost the same thing, only they're made a little bit differently, but mostly they make the same kind of sound. So let me show you a little bit about the glockenspiel. The glockenspiel is actually made kind of to look like a piano. If you know what a piano looks like, it has sets of keys that are sets of two and three, the black keys. And the glockenspiel has a rung. This one is on the end, so it doesn't have a third one, but two, three, two, three. And then these down here would be like the white notes on a piano. The glockenspiel always comes with mallets. These sticks with the little rounded things on the end are called mallets. So you can use the mallets to play. And that's what makes the sound. So I'm gonna toss one mallet on the ground for a minute because you can play the glockenspiel and make this sound, which is actually really cool. But also the cool thing about the glockenspiel is you can use it to play melodies of songs. So see if you can recognize this song. What song was that? I think you know it. So you can actually use both the mallets to play all kinds of notes at the same time. And it's awesome. I'm not very good at the glockenspiel because I haven't learned how to play it super well yet, but I love messing around on all the different instruments I have in my music room. But what if you don't have a glockenspiel or a xylophone at your house? Well, I came up with a way that you could make an instrument on your own at your house that kind of sounds a little bit like the glockenspiel or the xylophone. Come on, I'll show you how. Okay, so to make your own instrument that's kind of like a glockenspiel or a xylophone, you're going to need some metal spoons of different sizes. So they can't all be the same size or it won't really work. So try to find different sizes of spoons. Ask your parents if you can use the spoons in the spoon drawer, a chopstick, and some Play-Doh. All right. As always, check with your parents and make sure you can do this experiment. It's kind of like a science experiment. So first, get out some Play-Doh. Mine is lots of different colors smushed together because I don't know about you, but my kids like to mush their Play-Doh together to make this purpley color. It's awesome. So we're actually going to make kind of a big snake with our Play-Doh. Whoops, my spoons. Okay, kind of long there. And then we're gonna take our spoons and rest them on our Play-Doh. We need our spoons to be a little bit above the ground, at least part of them. And the Play-Doh actually helps them to not move around as much when we play their instrument. So rest my biggest spoon here. And then I'll take my next biggest spoon, put it next to it, but to where they are not touching. There's gotta be a little space between our spoons. I'm going to put my next biggest spoon here and my next biggest spoon here and my smallest spoon, which says you are loved right here. Now, as you can see, my spoons are smallest to biggest. Okay, so then we grab our chopstick and if you move it along the spoons, you can hear that it actually makes different tones, different notes that you can hear when you touch each spoon. Now, the smaller spoon makes the highest sound and the biggest spoon makes the lowest sound. And you can also play them a couple of different ways. You don't have to have a chopstick. You can play them like this. Oh, that's a little harder. This one's harder to do. But you can hear the different sounds because the spoons are different sizes or you can lift them up like that 
So it's not the exact same as a my glockenspiel or a xylophone, but it kind of gives you the same idea. And maybe you could find other things that are metal that are different in sizes to try to make different sounds as well. It's awesome, great job. Okay, so now that you've learned how to make your own, let's try to play a song together. Everyone spills sometimes, so we don't have to cry or whine. Everyone spills sometimes, and it's okay. And if your clothes get wet, don't forget, they will get dry. Just give them some time. Cause everyone spills sometimes. I hope you can sing a song along with me soon. Like and subscribe.